So first sum we have taken, find the product and we are given with two matrices. The first matrix has two rows and three columns. So its order is two by three. And the second matrix has three rows and two columns. So its order is three by two. And as we know well, the, mat the product of two matrices is only possible when the number of columns of the first matrix is exactly equal to number of rows of the second matrix. Otherwise, multiplication of two matrices will not be possible. So here the criteria for multiplication of two matrices is satisfied. So we may multiply both of them. So what is the way first we multiply the first row and first column and the corresponding elements are multiplied together. So the first element, first row and first column. So 3 to the 6 minus 1 into plus 1 minus 1 and 3 into 3, 9 plus 9. This is our first element of the product. And for the next element of the first row of the product, we multiply first row and second column in the same way as we have done first row and first column. So corresponding element that means the first element of the row is multiplied by first element of the column, second by second, third by third. So 3 into minus 3, we have minus 9, minus 1 into 0 plus 0 and 3 into 1 is 3 plus 3 and we get the second element of the matrix. Now we come to the second row. So here in our product we come to the second row and first we have to multiply first row by first column. So minus 1 into 2 minus 2, 0 into 1, 0 and 2 into 3, 6. So now we have to multiply first row and second column. It gives the last element of the product of two matrices. So minus 1 into minus 3 plus 3 0 into 0, 0 and 2 into 1, 2. So plus 2. So as we know the product of two matrices is only possible when the number of the columns of the first matrix is exactly equal to the number of the rows of the second and we also know that the, the order of the result is always the number of rows of the first by number of column of the second. So here the answer should be 2 by 2 matrix because the number of rows of the first is 2 and number of column of the second is 2. So we get a 2 by 2 matrix as a result. Now just simplify. So first 6 plus 9 both are positive should be added positive 15 and 1 is negative so positive 15 minus 1 plus 14 we get and here minus 9 and plus 3 so we get minus 6 here we have minus 2 plus 6 so we get plus 4 and here we get th 2 plus 3 5 so this is the way to multiply two matrices now in the question number 2 we are given a square matrix A as matrix 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, minus 1, 0 and we have to find the value of this expression that is A square minus 5A plus 6I. This is second type of sums based on multiplication of matrices. So what we have to do first we have to find out the value of A square that is the product of A and A. So let's do it a square a square means a into a 
that is the matrix 2 0 1 2 1 3 1 minus 1 0 multiplied by itself matrix 2 0 1 2 1 3 1 minus 1 0 so first we have to multiply first row and first column it will give us the first element of our product so 2 to the 4 0 into 2 0 second element is multiplied by second element third element multiplies third element so 1 1 is a 1 so we get 1 4 plus 0 plus 1 this is the first element of the product then first element multiply the second column so corresponding elements that is first element to first element 2 0 is a 0 second element to second element so 0 into 1 0 and third element into third element that is 1 into minus 1 minus 1 now the third element we get by multiplying row 1 and column 3 so first element multiplies first element to 1 the 2 second element to second element 0 into 3 0 and third element multiplies third element so 1 into 0 0 now the first row of the product matrix is completed now we come to the row 2 now row 2 will multiply column 1 column 2 column 3 1 by 1 and in this way we get the second row of the product so first first row and first column 2 to the 4 1 to the 2 3 into 1 3 second element second row second column 2 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 and 3 into minus 1 minus 3 now for the next element we have to multiply row 1 and column 3 so 2 ones are 2 and 1 into 3 3 and 3 into 0 0 now our second row is completed now we come to row 3 now again in the same way row 3 will multiply column 1 column 2 column 3 1 by 1 so first element to first element row 1 column 1 first element will multiply first element 1 to the 2 second element will multiply second element minus 1 into minus 2 minus 2 and third element will multiply third element 0 into 1 0 next the second column uh, sorry say third row and second column so first element will multiply first element we get 0 second element will multiply second element minus 1 into plus 1 minus 1 and third element will multiply third element to 0 into minus 1 0 now at last third row will multiply third column so first element will multiply first element 1 1 is a 1 and minus 1 into plus 3 minus 3 and third element 0 into 0 0 so this way our product is completed now just we have to simplify so we get matrix 4 plus 0 plus 1 5 0 plus 0 minus 1 minus 1 2 plus 0 plus 0 2 4 plus 2 6 plus 3 9 1 minus 3 minus 2 2 plus 3 plus 0 5 
2 minus 2, 0 plus 0, 0 and 0 plus 1 plus 0, we get sorry this is minus 1, yeah, 0 minus 1 plus 0, we get minus 1. And here at last 1 minus 3 minus 2. So we get the product of these two matrices that is A square. So A square we have. Now we have to write the expression whose value is required A square minus 5A plus 6I. is equal to write down the value of a square first that is 5 minus 1 2 9 minus 2 5 0 minus 1 minus 2 next term is minus 5a so write down minus 5 and a write down the value of a 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. S next is 6i plus 6. And what is i? i is an identity matrix of the same order because if there is this is 3 by 3 matrix so we have to take identity matrix of 3 by 3 order and if it is 2 by 2 then we have to take the identity matrix of 2 by 2 order. So this is 3 by 3 so here we have to take an identity matrix of 3 by 3 order that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. Now, the first matrix is written as it is because there is nothing to simplify here. In the next term, we have to multiply this matrix by 5. So, a scalar multiplication of a matrix. Each and every element is multiplied by this scalar, so 5 to the 10, 5 0 0, 5 1 the 5, 5 to the 10, 5 1 the 5, 5 3 the 15, 5 1 the 5, 5 minus 1 minus 5 and 5 0 the 0. Plus the next term is 6 into this matrix, so each and every element of identity matrix is multiplied by 6 so we get 6 0 0 0 6 0 0 0 6 now in the next step we have to simplify these three matrices so we have to write down 5 then minus into plus 10 that is minus 10 then plus 6 next element minus 1 minus 0 plus 0 next element 2 minus 5 plus 0. Now come to second row 9 minus 10 plus 0. Now this element minus 2 minus into 5 minus 5 plus 6. Next element is 5 minus 15 
प्लस जीरो नाउ कम टू रो थर्ड जीरो माइनस फाइव जीरो माइनस फाइव प्लस जीरो नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट माइनस वन माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस फाइव प्लस जीरो द लास्ट एलिमेंट माइनस टू माइनस जीरो प्लस सिक्स सो फाइनली वी गेट फाइव एंड सिक्स आर पॉजिटिव सो एडिंग दैम बोथ वी गेट प्लस 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 इलेवन एंड माइनस टेन इज देयर सो वी गेट प्लस वन हेयर माइनस वन माइनस जीरो प्लस जीरो सो वी गेट माइनस वन हेयर वी हैव टू माइनस फाइव सो वी हैव माइनस थ्री हेयर वी हैव नाइन माइनस टेन सो वी हैव माइनस वन हेयर वी हैव माइनस टू माइनस फाइव दैट इज माइनस सेवन प्लस सिक्स माइनस वन इज लेफ्ट Here we have five minus fifteen, so we get minus ten. And here zero minus five zero that is minus five. And here minus one plus five, so we get plus four. And here we get minus two plus six plus four. So this is the value of the expression a square minus five a. Plus six i, and that's it. Now the third sum we have taken is if matrix one to one, which is a row matrix, multiplied by a three by three matrix, and multiply by this column matrix is equal to O, that is null matrix. then find the value of x as you see among all these elements written in these three matrices only there is only one element which is arbitrary so we have to find out the value of this arbitrary element that is x so here we have to multiply any any two of these three matrices first we may multiply first and second or first we may multiply second and third in any way we can perform this operation so let's multiply the first one and the second one so as you see the first matrix has the order 1 by 3 and the second matrix has the order 3 by 3 so criteria of multiplication of two matrices is satisfied because the number of columns of the first matrix is exactly equal to the number of the rows of the second one and the resulting matrix will have the order 1 by 3 that is one row and three columns so let's start that will be a column matrix obviously because it has one row and three columns so we have to multiply first row and first column and as you know how to multiply a row and column only first element multiply first element second multiplies second element and third multiplies third element so 1 once a 1 then 2 two twos of 4 and 1 once a 1 plus 1 so this is our first element of the product now we have to multiply the second first row and the second column so 1 will multiply 2 1 2 2 2 second element will multiply second element that is 2 into 0 that is 0 and third element will will multiply third element so 1 into 0 0 now first row multiplies third column so first element will multiply first element 1 0 second element will multiply second element 2 1 2 and third element will multiply third element 1 2 2 and this is 
the product of these two matrices. The third matrix, which is a column matrix, should be written as it is, that is 0 to x is equal to O, that is a null matrix. Now first simplify these elements. So we have matrix 1 plus 4 plus 1, 6. 2 plus 0 plus 0, 2, 0 plus 2 plus 2, 4, 6, 2, 4 are row matrix whose elements are 6, 2, 4 multiplied by column matrix 0, 2, x is equal to O. Now we have to multiply these two matrices. As we know, the order of the first matrix is 1 by 3 and the order of the second one is 3 by 1 because it has one row and three columns. So it has 1 by 3 and it has three rows and one column. So it has 3 by 1 order. So the criteria for multiplication of the two matrices is satisfied. Number of the columns of the first matrix is exactly equal to the number of the rows of the second one, but the resulting matrix will have the order one by one, that is one row and one column. So simply we have to multiply this row and this column. Six into zero, zero, two into two, four plus four, and 4 into x, 4x plus 4x and this is the only and one ele only element in this matrix is equal to O. So simplifying we get 4 plus 4x is equal to a null matrix and null matrix is the matrix whose element is 0 whose every element is 0 because two matrices may not be equal unless their order is same. So we have to take one by one matrix, one by one null matrix on the right hand side in place of O because we get a one by one matrix on the left. So now comparing these two elements, we have 4 plus 4x is equal to 0 or 4x is equal to minus 4 transposing this 4 it becomes minus 4 or x is equal to now we have to transpose this 4 to right hand side it will divide so minus 4 upon 4 and 4 will divide 4 one time so we get finally x is equal to minus 1 so this is the solution of this sum